In this section, we're going to assemble the X carriage. If you'd like to take a look at the 3D model, check out the GrabCAD link in the description. We're going to start by assembling the smooth idlers. First, insert a flathead screw into the recessed hole in the back of the X carriage. Then slide a spacer on, followed by a smooth idler. Make sure that the bearing side faces the spacer, and then put a nylock hex nut on. Repeat this process for the second smooth idler. First put the flathead screw through the X carriage, then slide a spacer onto it, followed by the smooth idler, again making sure that the bearing side faces towards the spacer, then put on a nylock hex nut. Note that there are two sizes of holes that will accept V-wheels on the X-carriage. One of them is larger, that's for eccentric nuts. The other is smaller, that's for nylock hex nuts. We'll start by putting the top V-wheels on. First, put a screw through the hole from the outside, then slide a washer on it, then a V-wheel, and finally a hex nut. Repeat this process for the remaining top three V-wheels. Remember to put the screw through first, followed by a washer, then the V-wheel, and then a hex nut. Next, we'll put the V-wheels with eccentric nuts onto the X-carriage. Start by putting a screw through the V-wheel. Align it with the wrench if you have to. Then put a washer on the screw and put that through the larger hole of the X carriage from the inside. Now put an eccentric nut on the screw, making sure that the shoulder faces the X-carriage. You'll want to make sure that the shoulder seats inside of the larger hole. Eccentric nuts are an important part of the design of the X-carve. We'll use them to adjust the tension of the V-wheels on the maker slide throughout the machine. Now we're going to adjust the eccentric nuts before we put this sub-assembly away for a minute. You want to make sure that the bolt is all the way at the bottom of the extrusion, like so.